Even though we've been talking for only a few months, he told me he hasn't felt love like this. And so you gave her a ride, and she paid by giving you a job. What if Michael leaves me because I can't have a baby? You got denied? From Facebook strangers to a Nigerian engagement, this is Michael and Angela's journey so far. I'm Angela. I'm from Hazelhurst, Georgia. I'm 52, but I tell everybody I'm 50. <laughs> One day, a message popped up on Facebook from a guy named Michael. He said, you look pretty today. Good morning. I didn't know who he was, but his profile picture looked cute. He's from Nigeria, and he's 30 years old. The long-distance romance gets serious when Angela decides to make an in-person visit. When I first see Michael, I'm going to be a nervous wreck. I tell Michael, I say, you know, that first kiss, I'll know if you love me or not. And he's like, how are you going to tell me? I said, I'm 50 years old. I will know. And the big moment is upon them. <laughs> But Michael's a little taken aback. A statue is kind of bigger than I expected, and she looks older than the pictures. But I mean, I'm happy now. I'm overwhelmed. And Angela has her own reservations. A year ago, when Michael and I met online, he cheated on me. You say a girl in your neighborhood didn't have no ride, didn't have no money. And so you gave her a ride, and she paid by giving you a job. I confessed to her that I did it. But I made her to understand that apart from that BJ, I didn't do anything with anyone else. He lied about this for over a year. If they want a future, Michael needs to earn back her trust. I cannot be with you and not trust you. No more lies, I promise you. Let's see if you can fix this. <laughs> now you've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive Michael at the end of the day because I love him. And seeing Michael apologetic and very sorry, it's the Michael that I fell in love with. So before she returns home, Angela has a big surprise planned. What's this? That's the American flag, Michael. It means you're going to America. Now we are... Engaged. Engaged. We are fiance. Come, Michael. <laughs> Time to start planning the wedding. Michael and I have been engaged for about a year now. Truth of the matter is, we have some issues still. So it's back to Nigeria once again. You know, there's a lot on the line with this trip. If the two want to wed, they'll need the matriarch's blessing. So today, we're going to see Michael's mom. Hi, Hi Mama. No, welcome. Bonnie. And for a blessing, they need a grandbaby. In Nigeria, yeah, everyone is expected to have a child. Angela commits to exploring fertility options. But she doesn't take too kindly to the suggestion Michael impregnate another woman. Who goes and has a baby with someone else? And by the way, who's going to raise it? Because I'm not, and it come out of me, and I didn't have fun having it. So I'm not taking care of someone else's baby. So to the doctor they go. He asked me to go to fertility clinic. So here I am. The two hope for some good news, but... Because of age, obviously, you are going towards menopause. So we'll have to be talking about other options. Angela fears this could mean the end of their relationship. What if Michael leaves me because I can't have a baby and go gets another woman that can? But Michael proves himself to be as committed as ever. Michael and I are going to do something real special. It's our engagement party. <laughs> the two are determined to make it work. We are going to have a baby one way or another. Timothy, Timothy, you know me. I just didn't have the heart to tell mama I couldn't produce a baby. But I feel so welcome in the family today, I'm struggling how to tell her. Angela hopes this is their last goodbye. Oh, I hate leaving you. It's okay. And that his K-1 visa will soon be approved. I'm waiting on a phone call from Michael to tell me about the interview for the K-1 visa. The news is hard to swallow. 
after reviewing all your documents and information presented, you have been found ineligible to receive a visa. You got denied? Yes, yes, yes. Why? I don't know. Baby. <laughs> Michael, look, they're not going to stop us from being together. No body is. You got that? Angela will do whatever it takes. I'm getting ready to fight like hell. We are most likely looking at having to do an appeal. The good news is that 60% or so of the appeals end up in granting of the visa. Hypothetically, how long would the spousal visa take to get approved? What? That, that's still another year. But you need to understand that if you get married in Nigeria, okay, then at that particular point, getting a divorce can become complicated. You have to be sure about this marriage. I need to get over there. I guess I'm going to go look on some flights. We're going to make it happen one way or the other. But time is not on their side. I want to be with Angela and start the family together as soon as possible. And Michael's losing his family's support. You still, you still want to try the K-1 visa again. Yeah, sure. but, but if he's been denied, Michael should just have to move on. What do you mean? Move on. Uh, move on in the sense that you should just start his own family. Maybe you just start his own family with somebody here. Oh, hell no, you didn't say that. A quick marriage might be their best option. So today, Michael's taking me to the marriage registry so I can find out a little bit more about getting married in Nigeria. Am I 100% sold on it? No. But I did agree to come, so let's see what this register has to say. The news is good and bad. I think I am getting married to him here, standing in a better chance to take him to America and getting married there. That show you are resolute on this is what you want to do. This is the best way. <sighs> Let's go ahead and sign this registry. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. It is also very important for the legitimacy of your wedding that somebody close to you, your son, your brother, your friend, your mom, your dad, somebody. Me? Yes, somebody came over as a witness. Oh, gosh. Very, very important. I don't have no one that can come. Anything short of that, the marriage will be rather invalid. So the two are forced to part again, and the future remains uncertain. I can see my future again being in the U.S. with Angela. But if Angela's family is really against her getting married here in Nigeria, she might change her mind, and I'll be heartbroken. But if Angela comes back to Nigeria and we don't get married, it might be end of us.